Hi there guys and girls and everything that's in between and welcome to this uh, Mountain Blade Warband um, kind of special video if you'd like um, some cool Celtic music going on in the background so yeah I've been kind of bored with the Warband between you and I recently not really getting into it as much all the mods that I have tried were either getting stale or all the other ones that I hadn't tried were either themed like you know the Game of Thrones one, for example, or uh, uh, or something like Prophecy of Pandora, and I really wasn't looking for that. I was looking for something more closer to native. Um, kind of like the previous thing with Gilbert Tiger Claw, just mixing stuff together, but that was tedious and it was limiting. There were lots of bugs that actually prevented me from taking that series further. Like the saves weren't compatible. There were lots of issues, basically, with cross compatibility. And then I found this mod. This is Silver Stag. Um, it's basically a mod that takes Floris, uh, takes some of the cheesy parts of Floris out, adds some really cool features, and for me, makes the game fresh again. And the cool thing about this playthrough here is that what I'm gonna do. Oops. It's okay. 1833. I pay. Not a problem. Um, so, what was I saying? Damn you, super deserters. The special thing about this uh, video, yeah, is that it's kind of like a proposal video. So I'm kind of like asking you guys about what you think. Uh, just to see if you'd be interested in me actually doing a let's play. The let's play would continue from this character. This guy is called Sinbad. Check out that cool face uh, skin. He's called Sinbad the Merchant. Sinbad the Merchant is not a very good warrior, he doesn't have very great physical prowess, but he does have high trade, uh, pretty high inventory management, and uh, soon we're going to be working up the pathfinding. I plan to have him uh, at 5 pathfinding by the time we reach level 11, uh, so that'll allow us to kind of traverse the land faster. So. The interesting thing about this a playthrough is, as you can see, my party is is no one but me. It's just one person. Uh, I haven't stepped up to a bigger party yet because I don't need to right now. Because the cargo that I'm transporting isn't as big enough. And as you would guess, this uh, Sinbad the Merchant, what he does is he uses the map and its resource distribution to make money in the game and you can see I've already reached 13,000 and I'm 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 like what 100 days in which is pretty good considering that you I haven't been fighting anybody like I I've just been avoiding things because I'm fast so basically what I started doing was I went from city to city and uh, in this mod I don't, I don't know if it's a native as well in the marketplace you can assess the local pricing and based on your trade skill you get a list of uh, items so linen buying linen from here and selling it at Cherie's for example will generate 143 dinars per item so what I do is I would buy this and then I would write it down uh, on a notepad uh, or on my other monitor that okay buy sell linen at Cherie's and then I would continue, I would go back, I would buy the linen. Uh, you know, a lot of linen like this, I probably wouldn't buy all of it because sometimes the, the towns are experiencing fluctuations in economy and they don't have enough money to actually buy from you. So if something like this, I'd probably buy only five, not the six. Um, but that just comes from, you know, playing it and kind of experiencing it. So here I've got some items uh, to this raw silk and this spice uh, for trade. Uh, these things here are all things that I've won from tournaments and uh, tournaments we'll talk about later. Uh, so basically, yeah, I check the prices and I collect things and I go around. That's how I started. But then uh, here in Ahmarad, I noticed that this city in particular always wanted wine and always paid high prices for wine as and also um, had a very big grape shortage, like they didn't have enough grapes, uh, but they were very rich because they sold spices to all sorts of places. So I thought to myself, okay, what could I do uh, to kind of further this forward? So I went to Ahmarad and I actually made a vineyard there, 
uh, to make wine. Now, you'd think, you know, the, the, the vineyard would be, you know, a little bit kind of uh, tough to run because grapes aren't very uh, easy to find in, in the desert. Um, so what I started doing then was... I would, you know, come here, I would pick resources up, and I would do this kind of uh, tr trade run around the area. I would come around here, and I would pick up and buy things, depending on the local prices. And, you know, lo and behold, things just st line up, and most of the time I end up going in a circle. And when I finally end up coming down here to these uh, green Rodak cities, I start buying raw grapes. Uh, um, in Ahmarad, the raw grapes sell for 250. Uh, in these cities, it goes for around 100 each. So I buy the raw grapes here, I stockpile my vineyard there, and o over the week, as I go around my round, around my round, well, no pun intended, I get money from these guys, and I'm, I'm generating like 560 from them alone, and then I generate about maybe two, three thousand per round trip now the dangers uh, of course of this is that it can get a little bit tedious sometimes uh, because mainly it's gonna be just dodging uh, bandits and the cool thing about this mod is that it gives you lots of options to trade it gives you ability uh, ways to kind of do it in depth tournaments are very interesting um, and uh, there are more quests and more uh, different kind of bandits uh, and uh, and uh, and kind of characters for you to interact with so it's it's nice and fresh and i'm still kind of discovering things about it even though i'm in about day 100 um so yeah would you guys like me to bring this kind of forward as a as a series where we kind of just do that be traders um probably in the future now when we become a little bit more rich we can start hiring the recruitment system system in this game is absolutely fantastic so we can start hiring things uh, and, um, and and characters uh, and armies just uh, just by the money we have because we're so rich you don't need to kind of build them up and train them up like uh, like in other uh, in other mods or the native version at least um, Maybe then make a kingdom, and I know it has lots of cool kingdom options, so maybe we can end up with Sinbad the Sultan or something. I don't know. It could be interesting. Let me guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, like the video if you uh, want to see more, maybe Warband Let's Play-ish kind of game, uh, gameplay footage. Uh, kind of like Guild Blood Tiger Claw, but maybe Season 2 with Sinbad the Merchant. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.